here with Allison Wood of Compass Regional Hospice and Tammy Weber with Candlelight Cove. We're going to learn about an exciting event that's coming up. I'm really excited about this because so many people need to know about dementia, its effects. We have a lot of caregivers out there, mm -hmm. so we can't wait to hear about what's going on. Can you start us off? Sure. Thank you for having us, Renee. No problem. Um, Compass Regional Hospice is proud to be a sponsor of this week-long event, Absence Event, and I have brought with me Tammy Weber from Candlelight Cove, who is the overall sponsor of the week-long event, and she's going to share with us all the exciting things that we have planned. Great, Tammy. Thank you for having us. Um, so Absence Week is a week-long event that is designed to raise awareness, um, provide education, and really just a deeper understanding of Alzheimer's and related dementias. Um, as you mentioned, it is um, a disease that knows no boundaries. Um, we're seeing people in younger years diagnosed and, and suffering from dementia um, all the way through. So early onset is much more prevalent now. I think it's probably safe to say that everyone is in some way touched by dementia, whether it's from a loved one or someone that they know who knows somebody. Um, so this is a way to try to um, bridge the gap of the unknown, which is what a lot of dementia is. So October 16th through 20th, we are doing five days of different types of dementia awareness. We are starting out with um, uh, a kickoff event and cocktail reception at the Elks Club in Easton. We are going to have a lot of different um, art exhibits there and one of the programs that will kind of travel through the week is called Art to Remember. Mm -hmm. And what the Art to Remember program is, is it is allowing anyone that lives on the Eastern Shore who has a diagnosis of dementia to provide to us a piece of artwork, a watercolor, a canvas, whatever they would like. And we've, the only stipulation is that it is an, a water scene. And so anyone who is watching, who knows someone with dementia is welcome to um, have them do this piece of artwork, um, get it to us, and we will present it as part of our traveling art to remember exhibit. And we expect to have upwards of 50 different pieces of art. And it really is a way to show the, the differences in dementia and how it, it exhibits itself differently with people. Um, but then we're also going to auction those pieces off. And all of the funds that we raise through this entire week will go to the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, one thing we're able to do with um, the way that we have put together this program is keep 60% of the funds that we raise here on the Eastern Shore um, of Maryland. And that is a pretty amazing thing to be able to do because uh, with our, our area being more rural than the rest of the state, um, the need for awareness and the need for education and additional research is so important. Um, to get back to the events on Tuesday, the Alzheimer's Association is actually presenting a national speaker. It's called Seeing It From The Other Side. And um, I'm a dementia, certified dementia specialist, and I have learned a lot of, through my training, through um, one of the ladies who has also learned from a lady named Tipa Snow. So this is going to be a very interactive, um, educational, you're not going to be sitting in your seat learning about um, what is dementia and how do you interact with someone with dementia, you're going to be doing these things. And so it's fun, it's educational, and you'll walk away truly knowing things that you never would have thought that you needed to know. Um, so, and, and that event also is free. We're doing three different sessions. Um, and then we move to Wednesday when we are doing Wednesday and Thursday our absence performance. Now this is kind of the, the hallmark of our whole event, these two performances. The first night on Wednesday will be at Chesapeake College and the second night will be at St. Michael's Auditorium. And this is a play and it is called Absence, hence the, the name Absence Week. And it is about a 74 year old woman and her journey through her diagnosis, through her death with dementia. Um, I saw this play and it was so powerful um, that I just felt compelled to bring it to the Eastern Shore. And so that's where the idea for doing this event came from. But you will laugh, you will cry, and 
if you're anything like me, you'll have chills run up and down your spine. It is so powerful. I can't even express how powerful this play is. Um, there was not a dry eye in the house any of the times that I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And um, people are really going to walk away with a better understanding um, of the disease itself, but of their loved ones and of the people who are, aren't able to have a voice. Um, it's one of those diseases where cancer, you can easily tell somebody what your symptoms are um, most of the time. With dementia, we don't know what's going on with that, that patient or that loved one until or unless they pass away and we can do an autopsy of the brain. Mm -hmm. So this is one way that we can truly um, bring some of that to the forefront. Um, we also are doing a virtual dementia tour. This is really exciting because it will allow you to truly walk in the shoes of someone with dementia for eight to 10 minutes. You will put on goggles, you will have headphones on, you will be kind of suited up so that you have dementia. Mm -hmm and then you'll be given some tasks to perform. And it is truly amazing when you walk away from that and you'll say, oh my gosh, this is what it's like, or why, why didn't, wouldn't you repeat that to me? Well, in a lot of ways, we're repeating something to someone with dementia so many times throughout the day that it gets aggravating for us. And this shows us what it feels like to have that frustration put on us. Um, our aging simulator sensitivity training. Um, I know I'm throwing a lot out at, at you. Okay, um, that is another event that we're doing on Thursday, and it gives you an idea of what it's like to go through the aging process. Mm -hmm. So it again is hands on and lets you feel like you're experiencing um, what's going on uh, in someone else's mind and, and through their day to day experiences. And we're wrapping up the event with a finale at the Milestone Event Center in Easton on Friday night with a silent auction with some amazing amazing um, items, everything from um, smaller $25 items up to experiences that are truly priceless. Um, all the events except for the play are free, um, very minimal cost for the play, and um, Eastern, Eastern Shore Absence is the website for more information and for tickets. We are asking people to register so that we do have a head count. Seating is limited for most of these events, so they can go to the website and get more information, get their tickets, um, but it is going to be truly a, an unbelievable week of events that there's not really anybody that wouldn't benefit from, from coming to see any of them. It sounds like it, Tammy. I'm going to try to make almost all of them. You know, we have family members with dementia. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and my, well, my family just went to Ocean City to get yes. away and ran into neighbors of ours. And they are caring for the father and mother with dementia. Mm -hmm. They haven't had a, a vacation in two years. So it's, it, I'm hearing it all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is so important. And like you said, if we can just understand what they're going mm -hmm. through, it'll help us to understand how to help them. Yes. And one thing I just want to add is that we want this to be available for anyone and everyone to attend. So as you mentioned, there are so many of us out there who are caregivers to someone with dementia. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to expect for them to be able to take part in this? Well, through the many sponsorships that we have to help fund this program, because it is quite a large undertaking, we are providing um, caregivers to those, um, to those caregivers, bringing somebody into their home so that they can come and attend. We are going to have a couple different locations set up with transportation so that people who don't want to drive at night or aren't able to drive anymore so that we can provide the transportation to them. We have one sponsor who has donated tickets Tickets. So if someone is not able to purchase the tickets themselves, we will be happy to make sure that they have access to them. This is one of those things we want to be all access. We can't leave anybody behind in this. I don't think you did. I think it's awesome. Thank you so yes. much. We're so excited. Yeah, this is very exciting. And Thanks we appreciate so Allison and Compass yes. Regional Hospice and their sponsorships and all of the other sponsorships, which are too many to name right now. Mm -hmm. um, but they have really made this possible and seen the vision and are, we're all working really hard together to, to make this event something that the Eastern Shore is going to remember and, yeah. and really learn from. That's great, Tammy. Can you tell us one more time 
uh, the website where people can register and find out about the event? Absolutely. So it is www.easternshoreabsence.com. All right. Thanks so much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. It's always good to see you, Allison. Good to see you, too. Yeah, Tammy, this is awesome. I will definitely be there, and I'll be talking to you about possibly volunteering as Wonderful. well. Wonderful. We would love it. Anyone who would like to volunteer, feel free to reach out. You All can right. always use the help. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming. We hope to see you there. Um, it's a great event. It's an important event. And if you can't make it, volunteer. See if you can help. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great day.